throughout my my living in the UK for about maybe 26 years, I used to be lecturers and teachers in different university campuses in different cities in the UK. So a lot of people used to come to our uh, public talks, public circles, public seminars. And among them was, uh, was a lot of new convert Muslims. And it was among them, Michael. Michael used to be in a Jean origin from Christians in the background. He embraced Islam, and, uh, and anybody embraced Islam, we call him Abdullah. And then after that, he chose the name he like. So I remember between 2003 and 2004, uh, Abdullah, he came across some of uh, our stall in the streets and uh, where he discussed with the brothers in the streets about Islam, about the affair of the Muslim Ummah. At that time, it was the issues of Iraq invasions uh, and the issues of the new law of terrorism uh, and the issue of Afghanistan and, uh, and the war against so-called terrorism. I remember his face when I saw the footage. I saw the footage, uh, he was speaking out. Uh, though he, it was uh, it was maybe at least eight years ago when he used to be maybe twenties when he embraced Islam or maybe less than that nineteen he embraced Islam in the twenties I, I the last time I saw him when he used to be twenty years old so but surprised me he used to be very quiet very very simple person he studies uh, Islam uh, the basic things about Islam and uh, suddenly I saw somebody blood in his hands standing you know speaking out strongly with uh, courage and his sayings, I carry the attacks for the sake of my Muslim brothers and sisters abroad. He condemning the British foreign policies. This is all surprise for me. I really was surprised. I think the reason he embraced Islam, rational convictions that Islam provide uh, rational answers for all the fundamental questions. <laughs> Yeah.